Good. Hey, do you think it's time for Speaker Johnson to try to negotiate some type of deal with the White House? No. The White House won't agree to anything. So, so understand, Marsha just made a very important point on H.R. 2. The House passed strong legislation that would have secured the border, H.R. 2. It was designed to secure the border. In the Senate, I introduced H.R. 2 in the Senate. Twice I forced a vote on the Senate floor in H.R. 2. Twice every single Democrat voted no. Now, the press very meekly reported what Chuck Schumer said, which is H.R. 2 is, is dead in the Senate. Why? Because it's designed to work. H.R. 2 is designed to lower the numbers back to where they were when Biden came into office. It's designed to secure the border. So Schumer was right. H.R. 2 was dead in the Senate. Why? Because the Democrats want this border invasion. That is the outcome they want. So you can't negotiate. Now, I will say this. I'm going to make a prediction. In the next five months, we're going to see a very modest decrease in illegal immigration. Why? Because Joe Biden controls it. He caused this. The Democrats want this invasion. So the next five months, you're going to see the numbers go down slightly. So then they can say, see, we solved the problem. It's a lie. They know it's a lie. And if, God forbid, they win in November, the numbers will skyrocket again and more people will die. Go ahead. Last question. Well, I can tell you in Texas, the invasion at our southern border is the number one issue in the state of Texas, and I believe it is compelling across the country. Now, you're right. Democrat senators, when they go home, there are a lot of senators that go home that pretend they're not crazy, that pretend they're actually moderate, middle of the road. It's an absolute lie. On this issue, every single Democrat, all of them, have voted for this over and over and over again. H.R. 2, they had the opportunity. Do you want to secure the border? Every Democrat voted no. John Tester, he goes back to Montana, says, it's terrible what's happening at the border. And then he votes against securing the border. Bob Casey goes back to Pennsylvania, says, oh, we got to do something about illegal immigration. And then he votes against securing the border. Every single Democrat, every one of them. I forced to vote a couple of years ago on Kate's Law. All right, you want to talk about common sense legislation. Kate's Law polls at about 90%. Why is that? Because it's named after Kate Steinle, beautiful young woman in California, murdered on a California pier by an illegal immigrant who had been released over and over and over again through the revolving door of Democrats letting violent criminals go. Kate's Law says that anyone who enters the country repeatedly illegally with an aggravated felony, will face a mandatory minimum prison sentence. In any room in America, in the bluest state in America, if you ask people, they say, yeah, Kate's law makes perfect sense. I forced a vote on the Senate floor. Every single Democrat voted no on Kate's law. So the challenge is, frankly, our friends in the media who are here, repeat the adjective, when you discuss John Tester, you call him the moderate Democrat. He's not a moderate Democrat. Every single time he's voted in favor of this invasion. And there is a disconnect because every Democrat goes home and pretends they don't want this problem to happen, but they all want it. And the reason is they look at that invasion and they see future Democrat voters. This is all about power. This is the most cynical decision I've ever seen. Listen. Every one of us here has been down to the border multiple times. I'll tell you, when you look in the eyes of a little girl or a little boy who's been brutalized, who's been abused by human traffickers, when you see women who've been repeatedly raped, it's evil. And every Democrat votes in favor. 